Jesus Christ Shall Eternally Reign, a poem by Poetic Truth Outreach Ministries. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Colossians 3, 1 through 3. The Lord Jesus Christ loves me, and I walk by faith in His grace. All my sins are forgiven, His blood washed away every trace. I am guilty of breaking God's every law. But the righteousness of Jesus forgives my every flaw. Oh, the riches of God's grace that I've received. Thank you, my Father, for your gospel I've believed. The atonement of thy Son is my soul's eternal redemption. Now shed your love abroad through my life without exemption. Praise and glory and honor be thine for the souls that trust in thee. Thy gift of grace divine is all sufficient for me. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain who bore all our sins and sorrows and shame, who died in our place and took all our blame, who arose from the tomb in which he had lain. Because of his love, I'm not the same, for I can walk when once I was lame. My soul was dead until life laid claim. Praise his majestic, most high, holy name. Jesus Christ shall eternally reign. Amen. Folks, do any of you understand the depths of Almighty Creator God's love and mercy? Because I sure don't. I mean, He is the only totally unique, self-sufficient, non-dependent person there is. Everyone and everything else was spoken into existence by Him. But He Himself is uncreated and always existed throughout timeless realms that we cannot even begin to grasp. And He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need anyone. But you know what? The Most High, totally unique, all-sufficient, perfectly holy, almighty Creator God loves me. That's right. I have the privilege and high honor of being forgiven, loved, and cherished by the one and only almighty Creator God. And I am very far from being special or worthy in any way of the love and grace and salvation that almighty God has freely bestowed upon me. But He loved me even though I hated Him. He had great patience and long-suffering toward me, even though I went about my life rejecting Him on purpose. He was merciful and kind to me, a filthy, dead sinner, guilty of every wrongdoing, unthankful, unholy in all my actions. And I have good news for everyone. God loves all people. God wants to eternally save everyone, including you. And to those of you who claim you don't believe God exists, or really don't see yourselves as sinners in need of forgiveness, it's okay, because God loves self-deceived, self-righteous, evil liars. I walked that road myself, but now I walk by faith, forever forgiven by the freely given grace of the one and only Almighty Creator God. To those of you who may realize you have some issues, but just really aren't sure where to turn or what you should do, it is my job to point you straight to Jesus Christ because I am a witness and a partaker of eternal life and every blessing of God. I am an ambassador of Jesus Christ. I am here to tell you how you can have peace with your Creator. And I was dead, but now I am alive in Christ Jesus. Are you alive or dead? 1 Corinthians 15, 1-5, Romans 3, 20-26. Question. Where is the body of Jesus Christ buried? Answer, he is not buried or entombed anywhere because he is not dead. He is not dead because he rose from the grave after three days, just as he said he would. And he is alive forevermore. You can go visit the burial sites of many people, but you cannot visit a headstone that reads, Here lies Jesus Christ. Or visit a tomb that contains the bones of God, because Jesus Christ... God in the flesh, bodily resurrected, forever defeating death, just as he said he would. Do you believe God's holy word is true? Do you believe Jesus Christ died for you? God's holy, perfectly preserved word is absolute truth. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is truth. Jesus Christ is the word. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, 14. 
You never need to doubt God's holy word because it is perfectly preserved truth and it is to be declared. It never needs to be proven because it is proof. It is the standard of all wisdom, proof, evidence, and all that is forever truthful. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Psalm 119, 160. The grass wither, withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Isaiah 40, verse 8. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. The brutal torture and conspiratorial murder of Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, is the most unjust, hideous, blasphemous crime in all of human history. But God willingly allowed it because it was also part of a miraculous chain of events that made it possible for humanity to be saved, reconciled, redeemed, and forever at peace with God our Creator. It is very often God's way that He takes what people mean as harmful and evil and uses it to accomplish great good for His ultimate purpose. The murderous crucifixion of Jesus Christ is the greatest example of God taking what men meant for great evil and using it for glorious good. Because God allowed the sinless blood of Jesus Christ to be shed as a perfect and all-sufficient sacrifice for the entire world's sins through His finished, fully atoning work on your behalf, you can be saved by simply believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He is the perfectly sinless Savior who loves you, who died in your place for the forgiveness of all your sins. Be saved by the victorious risen Lord of all creation and be saved right now from the coming fearful judgment of God. Don't turn your back on the only merciful Almighty God who loves you and wants to save you now no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done. Your Creator, the one and only Almighty living God, loves you and will forgive and save you. The perfectly sinless blood of Jesus Christ shed on that cross for you has the power to cleanse, heal, forgive, and save you starting now and for all eternity. We all have sinned and need a Savior. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3, verses 23 through 24. Just as God's Word tells us, we are saved by God's grace through faith. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9. Grace equals God's loving, unmerited mercy that none of us can earn or deserve by any works that we do. Faith equals belief that God's word is true. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. We are saved by simply believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ as full atoning payment for our sins. Believe that you are a sinner, as we all are, and that Jesus Christ died in your place on that cross for the forgiveness of all your wrongdoing sins. Believe that he was buried and yet rose up from the grave on the third day, forever conquering death, and that he is alive forevermore. Amen. This is how you can be forgiven and have God's free gift of eternal life. Jesus Christ is the only way. Believe right now. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Romans 5, verses 8 through 11. Warning! Hell and the lake of fire are very real places. Those who reject God's loving grace and eternal life through the finished work of Jesus Christ will suffer eternal horrific torment. Don't send yourself to hell by rejecting truth. Jesus Christ paid your penalty. Simply believe it is true. God is not a liar. You can trust in His word. You will be meeting Him soon as we all will. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? 
Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Numbers 23, verse 19. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9, verse 27. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, verses 9 through 11. Eternal life is a free gift through belief in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. All of your sins are forever forgiven. You will not suffer eternally in hell and the lake of fire. Your debt is fully paid. Your death penalty is pardoned. You are truly free and alive forevermore. You will spend eternity in heaven with God and all his many blessings. Forgiveness of all of your sins and eternal life are free gifts from God to you. Believe on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and you will be saved and go to heaven eternally. Amen. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-5, Romans 3, 20-26, Genesis 1, 1, Genesis 1, 26-28, Isaiah 53, Isaiah 55, Matthew 26-28, John 1, verses 1 through 5, Romans 3, 20 through 26, 5, 1 through 2, 5, 17 through 21, 6, 22 through 23, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 5, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21, Galatians 1, 3 through 9, Ephesians 1, 6 through 23, Ephesians 2, 4 through 9, Colossians 2, 1 through 15, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18, Revelation 20, 10 through 15, KJB. God's eternal, infallible, perfectly preserved, holy word.